Ooh. Hey guys, Brett Master here. I am back with another video and happy Thursday. So, yes, um, also got this one too. And yes, I did get this yesterday, but I didn't review it yesterday. So I just wait till all the morning time comes to review this. And that is toy number nine, Black Widow. Um, yes. I know you can't see it in the light because there's a light right here. If y'all can see, it's glowing on my face. But, uh, yes, this is toy number nine, uh, Black Widow. is literally the, the same one, like this. Which, this one's pink and white. This one's from the Avengers Endgame set. Well, they were promoting, uh... Avengers Endgame three years ago at McDonald's. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little bit worn out because I don't want to do the gimmick. So yeah, that's the gimmick that this one do. And yes, you can tell the base is purple here too. And this is also the gimmick what this one does too. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and also hope you guys have a great December 1st and a Thursday. So, back with another unboxing. So, yes, first um, <coughs> unboxing of December, and yes, I actually ordered this a few days ago. And it's from Not Just Toys, uh... Three day shipping. And here it is. It's an actual, uh, so yes, I haven't unboxed nothing uh, Kid Robot related. Uh, this is actually Kid Robot Bunny Puny uh, Gizmo Plush from the Gremlins. Saw the first one a few months ago, and I saw the second one last week on HBO Max. <sighs> Oh, look at that cute little adorable face. So yes, uh, trying to build up my multiverse collection versus collection. So I got Gizmo. I need to get Stripe because Stripe is already in the game because I did a gameplay of him on my uh on a different and social media app. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get him. Get this little tag out. Here's the tag, Mohawk, Gizmo, Stripe. Uh, yep, so, kind of got into it, because I heard it's a horror, it's like a horror comedy film, because I'm into horror too. I also have a neighbor who is obsessed with horror. He also collects DC and Marvel, and yes, that is one of my neighbor's car drive past, so, here's Gizmo. Uh, they did make it like this one. Which, um, you probably could get on Amazon right now for $25. Well, it was originally $24.99. They changed it up to a two more dollars, like $25.99. But yes, here he is. Remember, don't feed him. Don't put him near water. I mean, hold on, let me start over. Don't feed him at midnight. Don't put him in our water. Don't make him get into the sunlight. Yes, yes, that's a crow from the movie. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so yes, I am back with another unboxing. Yes, it is raining. And yes, I know y'all gonna ask, why am I wearing a different jacket? Well, that brown jacket I have for four years now, yes, y'all see me wear that since like October. Actually, over the end of September, when I wore it. Yes, it is, this is from eBay. And Brett 
toothed. And yes, I have waited a long time for this to come. If I can get it open. I just thought I didn't want to be here till tomorrow, and uh. Yes, it's an art book. Okay, guys, so I'm not wearing my brown jacket that y'all have been seeing me wearing for the past few times in these videos. Or sometimes unboxings, because I wore that jacket like two days ago on my unboxing video. But yes, I finally have two packages from eBay. Yes, I had to literally, like, change my eBay name to my first and last name, because I didn't want to, like, put, like, my, uh... Super shocker or part on there, so yeah. So can't wait to see what it is. Wow, really? Plastic on the bag? <laughs> yeah, it's just like darn it. And yes, uh, I actually ordered this last week on the first, almost about like six days ago. Here it is. It is toy number five. And that's the dancing. Actually, that was Potted Groot. If y'all remember from uh, nearly close to the end of uh, the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, this was actually based on. on, on um, yes, I'm this close to complete the uh, Marvel, Studios co Marvel Studios Heroes collection. All I need to find is one, that's Falcon, and two, Winter Soldier. So, yes, we did review on a uh, Hulkbuster Black Widow from last week. And we're, we already did like Vision like 10 months ago, Gladiator Hulk a year ago, Wasp also a year ago, and um, Scarlet Witch, who we recently just reviewed two, we two years ago, because this is what these stories are from, uh, about two years old. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get. Potted Groot out of the bag. And yes, y'all have been complaining in the comic section. It's not an unboxing. It's unwrapping. Because y'all said that stuff on the Thor 11 Thunder Happy Mail Toys unboxing. And unwrapping I did. Months ago. There we go. So this at the donation thing that I, where I got the... Athena, the Hulkbuster, and uh... Uh, Black Widow at. Yes, I'm just wrapping this up. Put it in here. There we go. Alright, guys, so here he is. Uh, yep, uh, this is like the one that was based on the ending to Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. And this is his gimmick. And, uh, yep, he dances, like, in, at the end of the movie, when he grows back, uh, 
Yeah, nothing too much about it, but really wanted this one. A little bit scratched up right there, but I am not judging. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so got another eBay unboxing, which I already said in the last video. Let me just put this up here. Alright, so, here's this one. I ordered this, like, Friday of last week, and, uh, it got delivered today. Oh, I think it's that little one of my Ash here for Burger King from two years ago. So, the guy said, the seller who sold me this from eBay said it was from 2019, which was not... Wow, he literally wrapped this up pretty good. <coughs> Put that back there. Well, that, there it is. <coughs> but Sally... The seller who sold me this figure did not give me the last of the truth. Don't know why. But uh, yes, it's from Burger King. And this was actually promoting from the Wonder Woman 1984 movie that everybody hated. But some of them loved it. If I can find that little one accessory I got with me. No, that's just Jolly Rangers wrappers from, from a week ago in my pocket. I got this to see if this will work. Yeah, it's not gonna fit, so... This is a gimmick. It's a pretty cool figure. Uh, speaking of that, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, 1984 stuff, I saw all, um... I mean, not the movie, I didn't, I haven't seen the movie yet, uh... This is actually from, like, when I was, like, during, like, the little... Thing in box, the little shopping with uh, the people over there that I got those uh, Happy Meal toys from. They actually had a street Steve Trevor one, but I never got a chance to get it because, uh, well, I'm too busy looking for that. For this right here that y'all saw me unbox in the last video, but they didn't actually have it, so yeah. I wish the seller who sold me could gave me the lasso of truth, which that would be pretty cool, but nope. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another unboxing video. And yes, I am like literally recording this at almost 8 o'clock at night. So, yeah, I actually ordered this like last week. And I can't wait to show you guys what it is. But, uh, just letting you guys know, um, I got another eBay package coming hopefully tomorrow or whenever. And I'm going by Wednesday or the 14th. By the 14th or the 17th of this month. But I'll let you guys know. But anyway, guys, I will take this out. Pack <coughs> pack to see what it is. Okay, guys. So I actually had this like. On my unboxing list for a while now. And if y'all remember those little Funko plushies called Mo Peace, made by Funko. Uh, I do have two of these, like this one. I think I have a Leela and a Fry one for Futurama. But this one's Superman, so let's go ahead and get him out of the package, shall we? Or baggy. Okay, guys, so here's the little Mo Peace plush tag. And the little, um, Batman vs. Superman tag. Yes, this was actually promoting for Batman vs. Superman uh, a couple years back. Um, some people did not like the movie. I actually liked it. Um, saw it in theaters when I was 13. So here's Superman. I really don't know why they gave him elf shoes. Like, you know, from... Like, you know, like, little elves that works for Santa Claus. Uh, those were, remind me of. And check out that cape. 
that cape is really, really cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry this video had to be short because uh, I just woke up like 26 minutes ago. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys, so I will do another unboxing tomorrow because the one I told you about didn't came today. But this one did, and I actually did order this also last week on eBay. Um... I don't have my knife with me, because, uh, I haven't used my knife, like, my, my unboxing knife since, like, three days ago, and yes, um, y'all can tell I actually shaved, and this time I didn't leave no scars, I just did it gently, because, uh, last time I shaved, it was, like, almost a, like, just a month, almost a month ago, but, uh, besides the point, but yes, um, this box is literally light heavyweighted, or, it feels heavy. Well, I don't know why it feels heavy, but... But, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? Wow, the seller who sent me this today just tied it up real tight. Oh, cool! Oh man, I always wanted these one of these uh, mystery minis. Uh, it's actually from My Hero Academia, so they're like so it's kind of like the Marvel DC ones, but this one's like My Hero Academia. Uh. You can see, like, right here, it says exclusive, and then there's, like, the characters on the box, back of the box. Like, you get one in a six chance of, uh, All Might. Wow, a one and a one and a half, 24 chance you get a Bagako, a Idia, and, um, a Sawa. A one and a six, like, the same thing with Todoroki, Sue, Deku, and... I want to have 12 chance to get Araraka and 18 chance. Wanted to have 18 chance to get All Might, the boning version of All Might. Wanted to have 72 chance to get the Shigi and Todoroki that glows in the dark. So let's see who we got. Oh, yeah. We got a Suey. Um, but, uh, I know y'all gonna ask, am I gonna keep the box? Uh, I'm probably my, I am, cause, uh, one, um, I don't know what to do with the box, uh, so I'm not gonna throw it away, cause, I know why it, there was a box in here, cause this was in here. So, here's Sue. Uh, so I know y'all gonna ask, uh, it's sort of like another chance of way of me trying to get the Funko Soda Sue I canceled like last week from GameStop because uh Yeah, you can't run through the head because if you run through the head it's gonna break and I'm not gonna like do that because uh one it will be pretty bad because I spent like a couple dollars on this. It was cheap. No worries, but Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Ah, my back hurts. Hey, guys, Brat Mass here. Here, I am back with another unboxing video, so... Yeah, um... I just woke up, like, a couple minutes ago. Uh, yes, um, I think... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to show you that little, my little address, but I don't know what it is, but it feels a little heavy, but I'm pretty sure I think this is a, that thing I ordered from eBay, 
let's just see if I can get it. It opened. All right, fine with me. Come on. Come on, don't. Don't be a pain in the butt right now. Yep, it is. It absolutely is. Wow, it's really, really small. So check this out. It's actually a uh, Ruby plush I ordered. And I totally forgot Jasper's actually made this. Yeah, it says it's for sale. So, it's like really, really small. And, uh, again, it's for, someone sent it to me that it was for sale, and I actually bought this like four days ago. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off, shall we? Okay, guys, so, yes, I hope y'all have a great Merry Christmas from yesterday, because yesterday was Christmas time, and, yes, uh, if y'all want to know why I didn't do the unboxings yesterday on the Pop Finals, the uh, two basic series 134 action figures that I showed you guys what I got for Christmas, because I was, because I had to came home today, because uh, we couldn't stay the night there at my sister's house, because, uh, um, one, they were gonna be busy after Christmas, like, going on a, like, on a date or something like that. But, uh, yes, we are unboxing the Funko Pop WWE and John Cena 2-pack. Now, I did something like this months ago, but it's not, like, this big of a box. It was kind of like the D-Generation X Pop Finals I unboxed, like, six months ago around Christmas. I mean, around, like, June, towards the 2nd or 3rd of June. But, yeah, uh, this is actually from the WrestleMania 28 match. So, you get John Cena and The Rock in this. So, let's go ahead and take these out. Let's get one of the figures out first and take a look at the figure first. Let's look at John Cena first. Wow, not a decent job for a pop final. So here's John Cena. I don't know if y'all can see that because I have the light on. So yeah, head rotates. Bald head. Well, he sure has short, long hair. And his green attire. And let's get out... Black Adam himself, The Rock, who recently just quit playing as Black Adam after James Gunn is being involved with DC now. Yeah, look at that! 
Look at that cool beard. Hold on, let me, like, bring that close. Look at that cool beard. Um, by the way, guys, uh, this is actually my fifth and sixth pop vinyl, WWE pop vinyl, and, uh, for sure. I have to look on my pop vinyl collection and I get done with this video. And last is certainly the ring. So let's go ahead and get the ring out. I thought I paused this. Okay, guys, here is the ring. Which, uh, it was already like that when I got it. Yeah, this is a pretty cool ring. You can actually knock it like a door. And, yes, this is from Funko. And, um, yeah, guys, that's it. I uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, uh, I'm back with another unboxing video. So, yes, the last video, I forgot to say happy Monday. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas, which I already said that great Christmas part last video in the last video. So yes, I just got done unboxing the two pack of the John Cena and the Rock two pack. So we got this one, which y'all have been waiting for. It is the basic series 134 Sami Zayn. He's a brawler. He got the Huluva kick. Blue Thunder Bomb. So in the series you could get Seth freaking Rollins, Becky Lynch, Shelton Benjamin, which we're going to unbox him um, tomorrow morning. And Indy Hartwell, which I also saw her last week in Walmart. Which I think her rep is a tire to Racer Ramon. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this, shall we? So I'll be right back in the next scene. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put it under the light here. So, yeah, check this out. Uh, he got the I Am Intercontinental Champion shirt on. Got the long hair. Does it look good with long hair or short hair? You guys let me know down in the comments below. But, um, anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great Monday. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, Brett Mess here. I am back with another video. And, yes, uh, guys, I am doing another unboxing. So, yes, um, y'all know that little... Thing I made at my unboxing about the same same figure. Uh, we unboxed Sami Zayn, and yep, I'm going to unbox Shelton Benjamin. And yesterday is his 20 year anniversary that he debuted in WWE, which I didn't know he debuted like 20 years ago. I thought he debuted like 19 years ago in 2003. But uh, yes, um, here he is with the package. So. Get Shelton Benjamin and his uh, wrestling class move is a grappler. I thought he would be a powerhouse because, uh, well, T Bone Suplex. Signature moves play dirt, T Bone Suplex. So in the series, you can get Seth Brick and Rollins, Becky Lynch, Sami Zayn, which we just unboxed this morning, and Andy Hartwell. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package, shall we? Yes, I got a clip that was supposed to be part of this video, but I couldn't, like, put that in because I didn't have the, like, my face in it. I just had the little picture in it. I hope it's not broke because I got this for Christmas yet. yesterday. Yeah, it, uh, there you go. Alright, guys, so got him out of the package. So, here he is out of the package. Um, yes, happy 20 year anniversary, Shelton Benjamin, of your today debut. So, 
yes, uh, y'all can tell it has a little crack right there, but not like an open crack. It's just like a little scratch. And you don't want to like bend that all the way because it might break, which I'm not going to do that. Got some cool knee pads. Nice hair. Well, he's sort of bald, so yeah. And his kickbacks better come off. So yeah, this is the Hurt Business Shelton Benjamin, because you can tell there's the Hurt Business uh, emblem or logo. Pretty stirred head. Arm articulation. Uh, got his old tattoo he had back in the days when he was old, when, when he was blonde. Yes, no joke, he was absolutely blonde. If y'all remember, he dyed his hair blonde like 2007 till... He shaved it bald till he utterly led to the E. Which, yes, he did led to the E back in 2010 until he came back in 2017 to be Chad Gable's partner. But, uh, yeah, should he push him? Because, uh, he has his 20 year anniversary out today. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.